What up y'all and welcome back to another one. Today is a special little hunt because today is the opener of Big Ducks and Honkers, baby. Actually, geese in general open up today only for two days. Isn't that weird? But two things I gotta tell you today. You can tell I'm talking a little weird. I'll get to that next. But first off, Fred cannot go hunting today. And here's the reason why. Last time I took him pigeon hunting, and last time I took him public land duck hunting, he broke bad. I don't really mind the breaking if it's not going to mess up the, the birds that much, you know what I mean? At least he's getting out there soon. Uh, but I don't like the breaking when it will mess up the birds. And today, we're doing a little two-man hunt. Me and Nick. You haven't seen Nick forever. He's Wade's little brother. Wade's the one that went to Canada with me not too long ago, right? Well... Nick is basically my little brother too. We're just doing a little two-man honker hunt. There should be some ducks, but we're doing it out of laydown blinds. I have not hunted Fred out of a layout blind yet. I haven't hunted him out of a dog blind. I just haven't got there with him. I have a dog blind to use, but I feel like if I put a lot of faith in him today, he's gonna end up breaking out of that dog blind. Basically, if I'm laying down in a blind fully covered by the doors, I can't hold him. From breaking you know what I mean so panel blinds a frame blinds it's kind of the key ingredient to work in Fred but this video is sponsored by ducks waterfowl if you haven't went over and checked out all of our warm thermal hoodies you need to because they thick and they're warm boys I'll link all the ducks gear down in the description below but second off guys the reason why I'm talking talking all messed up this is gonna be a little public service announcement hopefully it's not more than a minute long here Look at that. Yeah. Uh, there's a hole in my tongue. 15 years of chewing tobacco, y'all. 15 years, and I got two spots on the left side of my tongue, the side that I pack my dip on. I have two spots that looked cancerous. So, yeah. Uh-huh. How, how fun, right? Chewing's so cool, right? Chewing, I had to do it. I just had to do it, right? Yeah, well... I'll be lucky if I can blow a call today because what they did, it's called a biopsy where they take uh, basically a deep skin sample, skin tissue sample off of the area that is expected to possibly be cancerous. And they did that yesterday. So, yeah, I got a gaping hole in my tongue. Uh, it's swollen. It hurts horribly. So I'll be lucky if I can even blow a call today. But enough blabbing. I gotta get to the quick shop, gotta get my goodies, and then I gotta meet Nick at the field. So let's get on the road, y'all. Oh, and by the way, guys, if you didn't catch my drift, don't chew. It's not cool. Um, I don't care what YouTube videos are out there, who tells you it's cool, you don't need it, first of all. I never needed it. The only thing I would do is chew when I drank beverages. You know what I'm saying? So. I haven't chewed in probably, I don't know, a few months, but now this happens, so. Guys, stuff like this can happen at any time. It doesn't matter how much you chew or how less you chew. Doesn't matter if your grandparents chewed all their lives and didn't have a problem. It doesn't mean that your body is immune to getting cancer, so. Uh, I'm not saying I have cancer, but we will know uh, next week. Fun stuff, right? Yeah. One thing about being a dog owner now, a hunting dog owner that is uh, I feel really really bad for not taking Fred I really feel bad he's been on every single hunt with me probably probably the last 10 to 15 to 20 hunts um, it's gonna really bother me today him not being there but this is one of those situations I got to train him for lay down blind hunting before I just take him out there gotta get him in a dog blind and I have to just get him used to it because today I can guarantee you I'm not making up excuses because I want him to be there just as bad as you guys do but if I took him he would flare these geese the ducks maybe not so much but the geese this field it isn't really tall stubble it's not like thigh high or knee high stubble it's pretty bare so with lay down blinds we're gonna be grassing them in a lot so, any movement, you know, Fred running out 10, 15, 5 feet, those honkers are not going to like that. Finally set up here. It is right at shooting light. Hair late, about 3 minutes late. 
uh, ducks are all over us already. There is a pond right behind us about 200 yards and there are ducks just piling in it. We got a field spread going on. Like I said, lay down blinds today, old Nicholas, and we got nothing but Canada flock silhouettes with two mojos. I will show the spread here in a minute, but it's about to get dangerous out here, y'all. You hear them ducks? Listen, they are loud. It's that pond, that group of trees right behind me. Me and Nick's been sitting here watching woodies and mallards just pour into that that little farm pond behind us. They love it. I knew they were all landing here somewhere. I thought it was in the field. I didn't know that that pond was actually there, to be quite honest. Well, we got a lot of ducks working behind us here, boys. This, this could get interesting with only two guys. Getting down in the blinds, all the ducks just got off that pond. Here we go, come on. Hopefully they like us. Holy smokes, over the back. Oh my. On the left, on the left, get ready. Get ready, get ready. Get ready, get ready. Shoot him! Oh, really? I missed both of them birds, dude. Load up. Load up, load up, load up. There's a woody right there. That's a woody. Oh, well, we downed a couple on the right side here. First ducks down. Yeah, buddy, if you guys like the video so far, smash the thumbs up button for me and Nick. I really, really wish that uh, Fred could have made it, but I don't think it would have worked out with having him here. So I miss, the, I miss my little guy, man. <laughs> Nick is on the move. Well, we tore him up on the right side though. Goodness. Man, they did it really well. They gave it up. Here's a old Susie. Didn't mean to pick you out, girl. Man, there's some big, good looking ducks. Woo, that was sweet. So the spread, check it out. We got a 20 dozen flocked dive bomb Canada silhouettes. We got one, two mojos. The spread wraps around that way. And we're sitting right here, baby. That was yummy. That was real yummy. Oh, geez, Louise, get all the way in there. <laughs> Doing it on the left, dude. Get ready. Oh, man, they, they came to the edge of the spread and... Coming back on the left. They're weary. They're not liking it. They're definitely definitely not liking it. Where are they behind us? Those are specks, aren't they? Mm -hmm. Those are all specks. And now, don't mind my spec column because it isn't the greatest. I'm a try hard. <laughs> Oh god. Oh no. We just had to uh, run back to the blinds here. Yep. We got birds behind us doing it. Bad deal is, is that last group of specks about an hour ago landed about 400 yards away from us in the field. So hopefully that don't mess us up here. Oh, oh no, god, no. they're coming. They're coming oh, look at this boy. Here we go, here we go, get ready. They're gonna land behind us. Oh, what? Yep, they're short stopping us. I'll call now. Oh, 
That's cold. It's not working out very good for me here. Oh no, they all landed behind us. What do we do now? That's not good. They short stopped us. They are literally 40 yards behind us. They're all up. Come on, come over. I'm not sure if the calling helps or hurts. <laughs> you want to shoot him behind us? Yeah. Shoot him. Turn around and shoot him. Go down. Nothing. <sighs> Son of a gun. We tried. The birds don't want to, the, the wind's kind of messed up right now. Actually, to be quite honest, let me make some excuses real quick. We have no wind. None. It's not helping us. That was a bad deal. That was real bad. <laughs> Got a group of honkers coming from the back. I'm gonna not call for a minute. Oh, the two love it. Oh, come over here. Two. Shoot him, shoot him. Yeah, go down. Go down. That guy's hurting. I got two of them. Yeah, yeah, you jammed? I jammed. Darn it. Woo, dude, I had to crank around. That was a hard shot. Yeah, buddy. <sighs> Poor Nick jammed. Poor guy. That sucks. Man, the wind's different. See how they want to do it in this wind? So I sat up for a northeast uh, east wind. That's that's what we sat up for today. Because uh, that's what <laughs> that's what AccuWeather told me to do. Don't trust AccuWeather. It's out of the freaking west to northwest. That's why them birds squared up to us like that. Let's go check them. These are honk daddies. We gotta check them for them bands, boys. Poor Nick. I know you're just gritting your teeth over there. Hating life. No band on old boy, huh? Let's check this guy. These are big guys. Good lookers. No band on other big guy, but here we go. First Kansas honker of the season, baby. Yeah, buddy. Man, feel that wind now, it's increasing. Almost need to flip. Dude, if we were smart, we'd turn these blinds around. So you turn Let's turn them for sure. Well, I don't know if it'll help, but we just spun the blinds around 180. The wind, it's actually increasing as the morning goes i bet it's like five mile an hour maybe but it said it was supposed to be one to four mile an hour out of the east it's out of the northwest boys so i think if we would have spun the blinds around on the first go on all them birds we definitely would have had a good shot because you've seen we had to actually stand up turn around by the time we were standing up turned around they were gone but two hunkers down handful of susies Actually, four Susies. We're limited on our <laughs> Susie Mallards. Well, uh, we got a group coming here. They're going to come check us out, it looks like. I don't think I'm going to call. It worked the last time. Um, we've switched the blinds around like I showed you. It has been very slow going. <laughs> Let's see if these birds like it. Specs? Yep. They are specs. Another group of specs. Oh, be darn. I can't believe we got this many specs right now. You know it? What do you think it was?
I don't know either. It's like um, they got here and they're kind of going there flanking us. And I just started, I was like, all right, we'll try a little cluck moan. I moaned a lot, and then the first cluck, 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 cluck that I did, they went boom, and they turned around. I'm like, oh, there we go. And so they started coming into the sun, and uh, they got, I don't know, about halfway here, and they didn't like it. They flared. They didn't flare hard, but they kind of, they didn't flare, but they flanked us again and went around us. So I don't know. Uh, we are using all silhouettes today. 20 dozen maybe i put out too many i don't know for the amount of noise but these birds have been in this field for quite some time i i found them three days ago and i could tell how comfy they were that they had been here for a while so um it's just like you having your own bed for you know a month straight and then someone sitting a big boulder in the middle of it you know what i mean like you can only mimic real geese so much so when when you got comfy birds in a field, it's always not the best thing. I'm not making excuses, but a lot of the best hunts I've ever had is when you find geese in a new field and you hunt them the next day. You know what I mean? So they don't know the terrain. They don't know the structure. You get what I'm saying? I know I'm over here making excuses again. By, a <clears throat> By the way, a little update on the tongue situation. It's really swollen. It's not feeling too great. But I thought it would be hurting a lot worse calling today uh, than it actually is. So that's a good thing. Well, we're all done here. Nick's just finishing up, picking up the last of it. And I, I have a long walk to go get the truck and trailer. First time using the trailer though, having it out in the field with the new wrap on it. But we still got some groups of geese flying. Here's this group coming to the field. I thought we might have picked up too early and sure enough, probably could have waited another 30 minutes. The wind really did us over though. Uh, I sat up to what my phone told me, uh, hour by hour, you know what I mean? Don't do that. Always just sit up for what the wind is right now. Um, now it's good to know if the wind's gonna shift, but when it doesn't, just like today, the wind is still directly out of the west northwest and by this time the weather's still saying that it's supposed to be out of the east 180 degree difference so i wish i would have called that a little earlier i wish it would have been like nick let's spin the blinds around i know if i would have we would have had a better opportunity to down birds because when i downed my two geese i was cranked all the way around it was some really uncomfortable shooting but I had a long walk to the truck, figured we'd chat a little bit. The tongue, it hurts. Not a good deal. About that again, I'm going to touch on it again, guys. Chewing, chewing, chewing. Uh, when you read the canon, it says, can cause mouth cancer. That goes for your tongue, that goes for your mouth, that goes for anything inside there. Um, it's a true, true deal. And I'm 33 years old wishing that I had never put a dip in my mouth. So, just a little heads up for y'all. I know uh, a lot of you might chew, but I'm telling you, you're just setting yourself up, you know? It's dangerous. Well, we're pulling into the field to go pick up the spread. Check out how good this cut corn field looks. Goodness, it's good to see some cut fields, baby. Most of all, it's good to be back home, pulling the trailer into my own fields, by my house, you know, around my area. That's what feels good. I don't have to travel. North Dakota, Canada was so much fun. Oh my goodness, I miss it. But it feels so good to be home doing it. You know what I mean? Being home with the family, traveling away from my family, it's gonna get harder and harder, especially when stuff like this happens. Now, guys, I don't have cancer but they're checking. That's what that is. At the beginning, I told you, but it's called a biopsy. They take a piece of it, they send it in for testing. Well, we're in the field. Look how good that trailer looks. Oh my goodness. Good to see her out here. She's looking good. But I wanted to show you guys, two man, 20 dozen dive bomb silhouettes, y'all. When we pick them up, we put them down in piles like this. And so what all, so the only thing you gotta do, bring your bag up next to your piles, just come to a pile, boom. Put the whole thing in there. Do another pile, boom, put it in there. 
And that one can take a little more, so I'll take about that much from that one. Boom, she done. Well, here we go, a little two-man action, two honkers, and a two-man limit of Susie's, baby. <laughs> uh, that was not planned. Uh, we shot the only ducks we could on that one go, and we both limited on hens. Isn't that crazy? I wouldn't call it crazy. I'd call it perfect. Yeah, it happens. <laughs> Come here, buddy. Ooh, look at that, Frederick. I'm sorry, buddy. Look at him. He's like, Dad, really? You went without me? I cannot believe you. I know, buddy. I know. That tail's still wagging, though. He's not too mad at me. So, as for my honker here, on an upcoming video, maybe the next video or the next video after that, I'm going to pluck that bad boy. I'm going to pluck it, and then I'm going to cook it a way that I've never cooked waterfowl. I've seen this done on Instagram. One of my buddies, Ben, they did it, and it looked amazing. So, at the end of this video, I wanted to focus on one thing. So we'll do the catch and cook on another video, like I said, probably on the next video. But on this one, guys, yesterday, I was afraid that I wasn't even gonna be able to hunt today being Kansas opener. Everything, every species, specks, snows, honkers, mallards, teal, everything's open today. Today is the opening day. And you know, it really put it in me. It scared me having that done yesterday. Uh, I go back and I think about all the cans of chew I bought and put in my mouth and, and always said, ah, it's not a big deal. Ah, I'm not worried about it. Ah, whatever, shut up. And uh, I know, I'm, I'm being dad right now. I get it. But that don't feel good. My entire tongue is swollen. I can't even talk right. I can't blow a call comfortably at all. Uh, thank goodness I got it done yesterday and not today and then hunted. But Neither here or there. Oh, you like my hoodie too? Honker, I grabbed it out of the bed of the truck and his head went like this and it just went all over my face. It's probably all over my face. I haven't got to look. Guys, a lot of other YouTube channels, uh, companies on Instagram, anywhere out there, social media in general, nobody talks about one, gun safety. Um, I've been preaching that lately. I've... You guys have told me some of your personal stories where you lost a loved one and on a, on a hunting accident. And it just really got me scared. And now this thing is going on. And I think about my kids and I think about my job being the YouTube channel and you guys and making these videos. And all of those dumb decisions of me thinking I needed to chew uh, could result in, you know, part of my tongue getting cut out. Uh, they said if it is cancerous then they'll have to remove the part that is infected. So literally losing part of my tongue. Um, I haven't really chewed for about two years. Like I said, just very, very, very on and off with it. But I used to chew a lot. And now it's catching up with me. I know it don't look good, but I'm going to show you guys a lot because it's very uncomfortable. And I want to really let my viewers, the people that I touch, the people that I reach, I want to let you guys know it's no joke, man. Like, I have no history in my family of cancer, you know? And to have it directed, you know exactly where it came from. It's pretty troubling at 33 with two kids and all you guys and my wife. So I'm done rambling. I'm done being dad, but I wanted to save the end of this video just for this, you know? Look at old Fred. He's like, Dad, he wouldn't know what to do without me, man. So it scared me, and I want to... I want you guys to understand how critical it is just smoking cigarettes, chewing, doing stuff that we are warned of. You know what I mean? I'm not perfect. I don't claim to be perfect. Uh, but there's always better decisions to make. That's for sure. But if you guys want to pick up any Ducks Waterfowl gear like this thermal hoodie or this dad hat, I will link them down in the description below. As for old Fred, I'm sorry, buddy. But I still think it was the right decision leaving him at home on this hunt. He would have broke and we honestly wouldn't have shot anything. We got very few shots today. So he'll get there though. We'll work with him. But guys, hit that thumbs up. If you like this hunt, drop a comment down below. If it's positive, if it's negative, if you guys have a chewing tobacco story, drop it down below. And uh, let's get everybody aware of the dangers of it. But until next time.